ተገብላ ከሱ ጎን መከበራ You know, there are so, there are so many situations happening in the world, and we, we can be made aware of them through film, but then we also don't know quite what to do about them. And, and what I think this film shows is not only, not only something that is very, you, of course, it's very emotionally, you can see what happened to this, this young girl and what, what this was and, and why this law needed to be changed, but you also learn, so it's very proactive. It, it talks about constitutional law, tribal law, understanding how to make change using art to make change and and that this is and this the sisterhood between these two women and how they came together and and how important it is to have a a woman who has such a strong education and what she's able to do inside her own country um, so all of these things well, it wasn't just something that pulls at your heartstrings but it is it moves us forward for their story and i when i uh, you know i i think there's often many many films that have really wonderful intentions and beautiful stories but I think what's also extraordinary is that this is, this is a real filmmaker. This is an extraordinary film. This is only the fourth film out of Ethiopia in 35 millimeter. Um, he had to process it through India and have it <laughs> scanned on the way out. A very, very complicated and obviously sensitive material. Um, it's beautifully shot. It's extraordinarily acted. And, and so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the subject matter. I'm also so proud of, these, of the art coming out of, of Ethiopia. So I think it says, it says many things. Yeah, it is my first movie. Um, Speaking yeah. Amharic, uh, yeah. Can I? Also, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Asking for direction. Well, Salat and Nebera Theater of Marneber, he Salam Taibis project family was by Mecha Chelling. Yeah, Mignet and now. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, Tazita was out of school. At school uh, in Ethiopia, our think summer. It's, uh, no, in winter we're off school. In the summer we're in school. So it was in the winter. She was taking acting classes, um, and uh, we had done about eight months of um, auditions and seen over a thousand girls and we couldn't find that right person who could become in, in, you know, the sort of the kind of the heart of the film. And uh, by chance, two weeks before we started shooting, we went there um, and, and, and Tizita had just completed her first month of training. Um, and I, I, wa I walked in there, the irony is actually the, the, the community workshop was held at my elementary school. Yeah. So, so in my seventh grade class, I walk in there and then she was like standing and just like looking at what was happening uh, with the other kids, with the other actors. And then I saw her right away and then um, through her um, family, we basically uh, got her to come into the studio and then audition and that's how we got her. Wow. Was that your first audition? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> It's always that easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to add also, um, uh, Tizita lives in a, in a, in a family. Um, uh, uh, it's a project called uh, Salamta uh, Family Project. And uh, she's one of 90 kids, uh, 96 now I believe, Marisa, right? Uh, 96 uh, brothers and sisters, um, each live in, um, beautiful house, ten and nine to ten uh, at a time, with a living mother. And if it wasn't for the organization's efforts to have the kids like Tizita to follow their dreams, they asked her what she wanted to do for that winter, and then she wanted to learn acting. And they, were, they facilitated that for her, so that's how we found her. Uh, I saw the movie in Berlin. It was in April, yeah. right? Yeah, February. February. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to see the movie before, like I'm a journalist, and uh, the director he said, "No, you have to <laughs> go to the movie theater and experience it with with the public." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I did not have my choice, but. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> to go into movie theater in Berlin, and there were 800 people, and I was one of them. <laughs> and uh, I was sitting right there and uh, watching uh, the movie. And uh, yeah, I was, uh, I think my feeling was mixed. Uh, firstly, I was totally overwhelmed. I was so happy because I know there are many people out there who have done fantastic job, but everybody will not get this kind of opportunity. Uh, secondly, I started to reflect what happened 60 years ago and uh, the time that I spent uh, establishing the organization and running it for eight years. And uh, I was like working like a machine and uh, I never had the opportunity to sit down and reflect. So it was also a moment of uh, reflection for me. I mean, I think um, the sense of community in this film that you feel uh, translated from the way it was made, where it was really a lot of people coming, as, as with any film, but this was, you know, finding the, the AD in South Africa, finding the, 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 the DP, the editor in Poland, and, and everything kind of came together. And as far as, you know, Z had been working on this film for many years, and I'd heard about it, and he, you know, approached me, hey, would you like to produce it? And I, I probably read two pages, and I said yes, and, and because you just feel it, you just felt it. And so it was a really easy decision to, to make a very, uh, you know, to accept something without even finishing it. But I think the challenges were, you're shooting 35 millimeter, you're in a place that doesn't process, you have to go to process in another place, which is a very bureaucratic country. And so you're dealing with two bureaucracies trying to get film across an ocean without being scanned or checked. So those kinds of challenges were, were very difficult. Um, but as far as the production, I think what was great was you had, you know, we had a crew from all over the world and we had a local crew. And somehow over the 36 days of, that we shot, they came together and really put their heart into, into making this film. And I, and I hope that, you know, it came through.